Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. Wanted to take a few minutes, introduce you to a new device that we're pretty excited about. Um, it's definitely a device our customers have been asking for. Um, and I'm just uh, happy to be able to say we got it. Um, it's called the Ranger QRP. It's a, uh, it's a, 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 a very robust, uh, pretty versatile, fairly lightweight, um, source of power for mobile uh, radio operations. Um, uh, the uh, the Ranger is uh, just over two pounds. Um, it's actually a bit smaller in footprint than uh, than say a a, a, a Yezu um, eight seventeen. Um, the uh, the the housing is uh, is primarily three D printed ABS, uh, very thick PVC rubber and some uh, other layers of interior uh, uh, protection and, and armoring that we do. Um, uh, it, it certainly is going to be tolerant of, uh, of, of everyday life. Um, drops and bumps and a little bit of moisture and, and getting generally knocked around. Um, it's going to be able to tolerate that. The, uh, the, the Ranger uses a LIFEPO4 battery bank, which I'm a big fan of. LIFEPO4 is awesome chemistry. Um, that bank is 100 watt hours. Um, it, is, uh, it is 8 amp hours at 12.8 volts. Um, and uh, the system has an internal solar controller, an internal charge controller. It's got built-in uh, cell protection and balancing, which can be important in LIFEPO4 depending on how it's being used and the size of the batteries. The larger the batteries, the more important that balancing becomes. Um, and uh, you've got uh, a single DC input. This is where you could plug in a, uh, a solar panel or the supplied AC charger. You've got the power out to the radio. Um, you have a built-in voltmeter and a built-in ammeter. Um, and then uh, and we mostly did this because we could squeeze it in there, an auxiliary Anderson, um, which uh, is powered in exactly the same fashion as the rear Anderson, so uh, you could use whichever one you prefer. Master on-off switch here in the front, and uh, a little swivel flip-out leg that uh, puts the system at a, a nice viewing angle on the bench. Um, uh, you'll notice these rubber bumpers, top and bottom. That is so. Uh, uh, that is so the system can be placed in any attitude, and it's not likely to skid around. It's also so when you uh, attach a radio to the Ranger, either top or bottom, um, the uh, the radio is secure and that it's being held against these rubber bumpers. But you also have a nice offset. To, uh, to maintain airflow between the, uh, the Ranger and, uh, and the radio. Um, we've got this, uh, this diamond grip bungee cord being retained by four of these little knuckles that, uh, interestingly, allow the bungee to be reversed. So if you, like most people I'm guessing probably would, if you if you ran with your radio on top of the of the Ranger, then of course you just secure it with these bungees. If you wanted to run the Ranger on top of the radio, you just reverse the the bungee and, and do the same thing. Um, so that said, it might be a little awkward to do this in this small uh, uh, the small view, but this of course is a a little a much loved kind of beat up Yezu 817. Um, so you can see the relative size of the Ranger versus the Yezu, but let me get this bungee out of the way so we can set the radio. And I don't know how much you can appreciate on screen, but 
that is uh, it's it's quite secure. Um, you could pick up the the radio, grabbing the Ranger, or pick up the Ranger, grabbing the radio. They're they're definitely together. Um, unless you specify otherwise, uh, if you buy a Ranger, it'll come with this. This is uh, a cable that we make to connect to the Yaesu 817. Um, other popular rigs are, are going to be easy for us to, to make sure we can hook you up. Um, you know, a KX3 is going to use a DC coax. We can make that same cable. Um, uh, if, uh, if your rig uses Anderson's, obviously that's easy as well. We can make that cable. But you just plug into the Anderson's in the rear. Plug into the power. It was already on. In the back of the Yezu. And now you can see, at least with the current settings, just at idle, the, uh, the rig's pulling 0.36 amps. Um, obviously, if we were to turn off the Ranger, it shuts down the radio. And vice versa. Um, not sure if there's much else to really show you. Um, I think a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's a lot of people running QRP or just field use in general that uh, that need a need a way, of course, to power their radio. And we, we already offer solutions for stuff like that, but we have have never uh, never done anything quite as purpose specific um, as the Ranger. And uh, I think it's just beautiful the way it came together. It feels good in the hand. Uh, 100 watt hours is a lot of energy. Um, the fact that you could plug a solar panel into it uh, while you're in the field, while you're running a radio off of it. Um, and then for that matter, you've got an auxiliary Anderson's. So if you've got something else to power at the same time, by all means do so. Um, so anyway, folks, thanks for your time. Thanks for your attention. And uh, this is Bill Harrison with Harden Power Systems. We'll talk to you later. Bye.